So sugar is in almost everything we eat these days, and although it plays a really important part in how our bodies work, almost all of us are eating way too much of it. Like, spoiler alert for this series, we all eat way too much sugar. <laughs> sugar is something we need to be aware of when we think about our health because consuming too much of it could lead to problems like tooth decay, weight gain, and diseases like diabetes. But before we can even begin to dive into the reasons why eating too much sugar could be bad for you, we first have to understand what is sugar and how does your body use it? The definition of sugar can get a little nitpicky. You and I probably just refer to it as one generic catch-all for sweet things, sugar. And usually what first comes to mind with this word are things like candy, candy canes, candy corn, syrup, which also happen to be the four main food groups for an elf, by the way. Taste the season. But actually, and this may be surprising, all carbohydrates are sugars. So that means that bread, pasta, milk, fruits and vegetables are all sugars, even if they don't contain any of that familiar grainy white stuff. So carbohydrates are the biggest umbrella that sugars fall under. But under this umbrella, sugars come in many different types, and the one that you and I are probably most familiar with is called sucrose. Sucrose is made up of two subunits, fructose and glucose. Often in processed foods, these two subunits have been broken apart and one is transformed into a syrup or they're used in varying amounts to create the desired flavor. Other carbs that aren't actually all that sweet are made up of longer chains of sucrose, all strung together like a necklace. Chains of sucrose less than two molecules long taste sweet because of the way that they're able to interact with our taste receptors in our mouth. And chains of sucrose more than two molecules long don't taste sweet for the same reason. But it's all the same kind of sugar, just strung together in different patterns and lengths. Okay, so now we know what sugar looks like on a teeny tiny scale. And we all know what it tastes like, but what does it do inside our bodies? Human beings and most other animals use digestion to break down everything we eat into little usable units of energy. And the different foods we eat give us different pieces of what we need to make our bodies work properly. All carbohydrates, so sugars, are broken down by our bodies into glucose, that one subunit of sucrose that we looked at before. This is because glucose is the only kind of sugar that our bodies can use for energy, so it has to take all the kinds of sugar that we consume and break them down into this one specific molecule. Glucose's most important job within our body is fueling our muscles and our organs so that they can function, especially our brain. If you ever go a few too many hours without eating, you'll notice that you start to feel groggy and disoriented and maybe slow to process things, and this is because your brain needs a shot of glucose to kick it into high gear again. So let's see if we can follow glucose throughout its day. You eat some pasta. It gets digested by your stomach acid and broken down into glucose. That glucose is absorbed by the lining of your stomach and your intestines and released into your bloodstream. Once the glucose is in your bloodstream, an organ called your pancreas can detect the levels of glucose and releases a corresponding amount of a hormone called insulin. Insulin is essential because it's what tells your cells to take up the glucose. Otherwise, the cells wouldn't know and the glucose would just be floating around in your bloodstream and we'll talk later about why that's a bad thing. Your cells then immediately use the sugar for energy, powering your movements, your organs, and your brain function, or if it's not needed right away, they store that glucose somewhere else for later use. Usually, this glucose is stored in your fat cells or adipocytes, and this is the key link between sugar and weight gain. But that is something we're going to talk about in part 2. We had to talk about the basics, right? Now in the next video we can talk about how sugar affects our health and how and why things go wrong in our body's processing of sugar. Subscribe to this channel so you can catch that video right when it comes out, and like this video if you're excited for the rest of the videos in the sugar series. If you have questions about sugar and the way that it relates to our bodies, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, my name is Marin and I have a polka dot problem.